Ten. That's how many bullet holes I counted puncturing the rusted brown Bardell County Highway sign. There were probably more, but I lost count when it blurred past us as Mom accelerated into town. I turned to look through the rear window, wondering if I imagined them, but they were as real as the seat belt digging into my neck. Dreary sunlight streamed through the holes like an erratic cheese grater, and I couldn't think of a more fitting welcome to this wasteland. Richest soil on earth, Dad said from the passenger seat. That's not foreboding whatsoever. I bit back a grin as Mom sighed for the thousandth time since we crossed the South Carolina-Georgia border. Sam, please, she said. Lay off. Bardell is a diamond in the rough, Dad and I echoed. It was the same phrase she'd muttered the past few weeks as we packed suitcases and prepared for the trip down south. A diamond in the rough. Now I pressed my forehead to the window to take in the flat fields and umber dirt. It was the same landscape I'd been staring at for what felt like years, and I saw no diamonds, only rough. Besides, Mom shot me a terse glance in the rearview mirror. You said you've been eager for a change of scenery all summer. I swallowed my protests. This wasn't what anyone had in mind. Yes, I wanted a break from the DC nooks and crannies I'd known my entire life. I wanted an excuse to slip out of Kelsey and Hikari's carefully arranged summer plans. But in my imagination, this getaway entailed an escape to a charming beach cottage or an unfamiliar metropolis filled with taxis and overpriced tourist traps. More skyscrapers and fewer silos.